Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today, we are doing another episode of Enzo's Kitchen. Welcome back to Enzo's Kitchen. And I'm really excited. I kind of like impulsively came up with this like a few days ago and just decided to do it. And I mentioned this in my last video, how I wanted to do this video. This video implying trying to recreate the Starbucks fall menu. Because like, if you didn't know, me and Starbucks, like we kind of like have beef at this point. Like I know like a bunch of other people on like social media are like beefing with like other creators. And I'm like, honestly, like screw that. Like we're beefing with like big corporations today. Because pretty much like the past few times that I've been to Starbucks, it just like wasn't good. But they we like kind of like made up like two videos ago when I did my Starbucks versus Dunkin fall menu taste test I mean my friend Lily decided that Starbucks was better but today I'm gonna one up them and I'm gonna try to like make a few fall menu items but like do it better than Starbucks because like yeah I also want to like work at Starbucks at some point in my life so I need to show them that like I have what it takes to be the best the barista, barista at the store, store and if I can save their trashy coffee oh my god roasted <laughs> Not that Starbucks is bad, but like sometimes it's just really horrible. Also, my parents are like redoing their bathroom and so like everyone's just like going back and forth between the kitchen and the closet. So if you hear noises, that's what it is. I don't have intruders in my house. I just have family members. Anyways, I printed out the recipes. Okay, so I was thinking that I'm gonna make three things today. One, the like pumpkin bread, and then while that bakes, I'm gonna try to make the pumpkin spice latte with like the homemade like pumpkin syrup and stuff. And then I think I'm gonna try the apple oat oh, oh, crisp oh, thing. thing. So let's get started. So I literally just like got all of my ingredients out and like even like some of the measuring stuff because I wanted to be prepared because like if you've seen any of my other baking videos like the end product comes out good but I can't say the same about the whole process like the process is usually chaotic so I kind of want to make this like not flop. Also because I do feel like I have some sort of competition this time because I feel like I'm competing with Starbucks. I also just did not come up with any topics to talk about throughout this video. So we're just gonna kind of like see what comes off the tongue. So this should be fun. Place eggs in a medium large bowl and whisk well. Okay, so while I crack the eggs, how is everyone's school going? Um, that's good to hear. And if you just said horrible, I'm sorry. Um, but same. The thing about it is normally the first few months of school, I have like a lot of motivation. And I'm still like, not like excited to go to school, but I still have that like beginning of school energy. And I feel like every year just keeps getting shorter and shorter. Like normally that energy lasts through like Christmas. And now it's like September something and I'm already burnt out. Anyways, we'll continue on that thought later. I'm just gonna throw these away and then wash my hands. Hashtag no salmonella welcomed in this household. Also it says whisk well, but like, I guess I don't need the handheld mixer. So I guess I'll just like put this up. I guess I was like a little too prepared today. I'm also gonna put these up because you know, like clean workspace. So update on how my classes are going. I think they're going good. Oh my God, wait, there's a shell in here. <gasps> Starbucks would never, wait, I lost it. Oh my God, I lost it. Wait, where did it go? It was like kind of a big shell. Okay, wait, what the heck? I'm like not even being dramatic. Like I can't find the shell. Hello? Ten minutes later. Okay, I think I like already got it or something. Cause like, I mean, I got this piece out here. Was that the piece? Okay, I'm pretty sure I got it. Okay, that was like very chaotic. Somebody's phone is ringing because like, oh no. It was my dad's phone and an Italian called. Just that's the background noise that we're gonna hear, okay? As we say in the theater world, the show must go on. Add pumpkin and whisk until smooth. Okay, so I have the pumpkin puree from Trader Joe's. I think I finally learned how to open cans with a can opener because like, not gonna lie, for a few years, I would always have to get somebody to do it because I just could not do it. Anyways, continuing... Okay, continuing with how my classes are going. I don't know, I feel like I have a lot of homework. I feel like freshman year is easy, except I feel like it depends on what math you're taking. If you're taking math too, or like, I don't know how each country slash state, like how they do the math levels. Also, I literally just jinxed it. Now I can't get this open. Like, Okay, I know I'm gonna probably start crying at some point in this video because everything's already going wrong and I'm like so frustrated. Anyways, I have a lot more homework than I did last year and I think I'm like kind of on top of things right now. Like I'm good at getting it done on time and all of that. But I know that in two seconds, it's just gonna fail. Look, I'm like cutting in. I promise I actually like did learn how to open a can. I just can't do it all of a sudden and I'm annoyed because I wanted to like show off to you guys. Mommy, mom, no, daddy's cutting. I cannot get this can open. Ignore whatever's going on here. 
a little while later. Okay, anyways, I'm back. My dad got like pliers and opened up the can and then proceeded to go through like a bunch of drawers in the room near our kitchen. Um, and was being super loud, so we had to take a mini little pause, but we are back. Where were we? Oh my gosh, update. So I've mentioned this in a few videos now, but when I went back to school shopping, I saw the planners and I was like suddenly determined to start using a planner because I was like, I feel like this will just make my life easier and make me feel like more productive and like girl boss. And like, I've literally been sticking to the planner. And my favorite thing ever is like putting little side comments on it. Like for example, if I have a test and like test today in parentheses, Lily could cry right now. Life is just not life thing right now, you know what I mean? Actually, you know what? Only positive affirmations. Funny story. So basically, I had that chemistry test and I explained in my last video how my brain was just not functioning and I was like not feeling too good about it at all. But then like I kind of made a goal for myself to not say anything negative about it and to only be like neutral about it and be like that test you know and then i also listen to those like literal subliminal affirmation things on youtube that are like get good grades and i listened to those and i was just like taking some deep breaths you know and then like i got an a on the test so like i'm so thankful that i did well on the test next i'm supposed to add oil white and brown sugar and vanilla the vegetable oil is right behind me do we not have vegetable oil? The one ingredient I didn't get out, we don't have. Oh my God, because on the recipe it says, it says two thirds cup of sunflower oil or any mild flavored oil. Does olive oil work? Low key sounds horrible, like olive oil in that, but let me just go confront the cooking goddess upstairs, AKA my mom. Does olive oil work or oh. no? Perfect oil. Okay, we are back and I have the olive oil and how much of it do we need? Two thirds cup, I didn't get a thirds cup, hold on. Why is it coming out so slow? This is. Like, obviously, I trust my mom because she is, like, the queen of baking, but also, like, I wonder if olive oil is going to make it too, like, sophisticated tasting. Do you know what I mean? Also, the weather is finally starting to feel like fall. I kind of thought it was going to last weekend. Like, that kind of, like, didn't happen, but now it's, like... What's the temperature? Okay, it's 71 degrees Fahrenheit. And also last week, I wore a zip-up jacket every day to school except for Friday. And I was like, on Friday, I'm gonna wear like a big t-shirt, you know, like cute but comfy, like end of week vibes. And then that was the day I decided to get cold. And I was like, thanks universe, you love me. Actually you do because chemistry test. I'm like still like, I feel like I'm literally so happy about that because like science and math are just absolutely not for me. I need to hurry up. So then I need to add the white and brown sugar. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in this thing here because I want to save the amount of dishes I have to do after this. Or like I'm... <gasps> I need to stop filming and baking because like something always goes wrong and it's like even the smallest little things and I feel like the smaller little things that happen are almost like worse like if I'm having a bad day and like for example if I were to like literally break my ankle like I wouldn't care that much but like god forbid I stub my toe I would literally start crying for like three hours also that's like not true that was very much like a use of figurative language hashtag English too because like I do not want to break my ankle and I do not want to manifest that but like my question is how is it already fall like I feel like it was two minutes ago that I was like happy new year it's 2022 and now I'm like hello how much vanilla do we need two teaspoons of vanilla haha <laughs> I already have a teaspoon out tried to make something go wrong but it's in I beat the system. While I stir this, another life update that is very exciting for the month of October. I have two concerts. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil it. I'm going to see Declan McKenna, which I'm so excited about. I feel like we all had that one artist that we just like started like heavily listening to during quarantine. And I feel like that was Declan McKenna for me. Like every single one of his songs are just so like March 2020 through like just like quarantine, you know that time, okay. And it's like weirdly nostalgic. And like I've talked about this before. And I think I did a whole video about this of how like, why do I romanticize the beginning of quarantine? Like when school was out and we were at home and everybody was like, oh my God, like staying at home, hashtag quarantine, hashtag bored in the house. And like, why is that nostalgic? Even though like, if that were to happen again, I would like cry. And also like, it's kind of like a weird thing to like romanticize when like, that was definitely like not a good time for a lot of people. And for me to be like, oh wow, I miss those times is such like a privileged thing to say because I actually have pumpkin pie spice. Okay, why does it call for so much of this? That smells so good. Um, I love fall. Like, I need to start watching fall movies. Like, what's a fall movie? Like, Twilight. And just, like, other comfort films, like, Perks of Being a Wallflower and La La Land, which I watch year-round, but... And then I think I have one more step, and then I'm literally done. Ah. The thought that this eggshell could, like, still be in here. It's very rare, because I'm, like, 99% sure that I got it out, but that 1% is still, like, lingering in my mind, and I'm, like... 
This is random, but I've actually been feeling so good about YouTube recently. Like, I'm kind of like, I really want to get out of this era of just losing subscribers. It's literally been in the negatives for like so long at this point. That's why, like, when people at school are like, oh my god, you have 80,000 subscribers. I'm like, yes, it's so cool and I'm super grateful. But also, like, I think 75% of them just don't exist anymore. Which, like, that's okay. Like, there's something kind of comforting about like almost like starting over, but I'm kind of ready to just like, I'm, I, I want to take YouTube like super seriously again and I want the algorithm to not like me. I mean, I want the algorithm to like me and if you're new from this video subscribe to me <gasps> oh my god guys no i didn't get it i saw the eggshell no way stop it was there no the eggshell was alive and breathing it's easier to see now that it's in a dark mixture because before it like blended in with the eggs but like come out come out wherever you are like guys <gasps> I'm literally so happy. I got it. This is it. I was just talking about that too and then I saw the eggshell. We are in the home stretch here. You don't understand how relieved I am though. Like, it's kind of sad because like I had this vision of me like bringing a slice of pumpkin bread. My family being like, try it and then they take a bite and they're like, why is there an eggshell in here? Okay, we're done. Okay, so it's been a few hours. Just kidding, you got pranked. It's the next day. I am wearing the same sweatshirt because I only wore it for like a few hours yesterday and like, I mean like I was cold again. So I was like, let me wear it like for the effect of this video. So it looks like I filmed it all in one day, but I actually didn't. Now we're gonna conquer the coffee. And the first one that I'm doing is the pumpkin spice latte because like, PSL, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm gonna back the camera up so you can like see what I'm doing. So I printed out the recipe. I had to print it out again because my mom accidentally threw it away. Combine sugar and water in a saucepan and bring to a simmer. First I have to make the syrup and then we'll like conquer the coffee part. Why do I keep saying conquer? I'm literally putting the measuring cup inside of the pan to like, no, I'm not just pouring it directly into the pan. Why does this look like a lot? I'm not trying to make like 15 pumpkin spice lattes. I just wanna make one to prove that I am better than Starbucks, but like whatever. Now the water, this is my favorite part because I love using our pot filler. I always feel so fancy. I'm just gonna like film it on my phone so you can see what I'm doing because I don't have multiple camera angles. This is a pretty low budget channel. Okay, I feel like I'm being so dry. So how was your day? Even though like I feel like I already asked that yesterday, but like, so I'm waiting for this to come to a simmer. It honestly kind of looks like it's simmering. Wait, what am I doing next? I'm not ready. So I actually have cinnamon sticks, which is fun because I need, how many do I need? Six cinnamon sticks, so do I just like, put them in here? So I actually only have whole cloves, which is what I'm supposed to add in next. So I'm gonna put these in here and then like ground them myself. I'm gonna put them in this little bag. I'm just gonna aggressively like. Are the cinnamon sticks gonna like dissolve or do I put them in whole and then just like get them out after? I'm just gonna put them in whole because that's what it said to do, but like, I mean, I don't think it would dissolve, right? I just like, don't have brain cells anymore, okay, one. These cinnamon sticks smell so good. Also, this is just getting me excited for, or, like, I guess it is fall now, like the fall solstice. Is there a fall solstice or is it only winter and summer? Anyway, um, I went on my first little fall walk today and it was like kind of aesthetic for a second and then all of a sudden my stomach hurt and I had to like speed walk home because I literally had to go to the bathroom so bad, but it was the type of thing where like I was speed walking, but like still kind of going slow because I didn't want to like walk too fast and then I mean like we know what I'm implying but I don't want to say it out loud because like I don't know I watch YouTube sometimes while like eating food so I don't want to like ruin your appetite if you're doing that now I need to put in my ground cloves that I so graciously grounded myself the fact that I'm doing this all for a latte like this is gonna be so good one teaspoon of ginger Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm supposed to add in pumpkin puree, but look guys, it has a little can opener, so now I can't mess this up. Okay, oh, there we go. That was really easy, okay, yay. I can't with life. Like, of course I had to get pumpkin on my leg. Whatever, not a big deal, but like, always something. Guys, I have the worst look. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, if you could smell this. If you could smell this. <laughs> oh, and I have to let it simmer for 20 minutes. I'll just turn the heat low, put this on top, then let it do its thing. Hey Siri, set a timer for 20 minutes. Also, I don't like actually use Siri, but like, you know, the opportunity was there. Just remember, not everything you see on social media is real. Oh my gosh, wait, while this simmers, we could start on the apple one. The apple one looks really easy. It's just water sugar, sliced apples, and cinnamon in a saucepan, and then let that simmer. Okay, so I'll do that now, and then we can assemble the coffees at the same time, because I wanted to make the syrups first. Once again, putting the measuring cup in the bowl. So basically, I put a cup of brown sugar, and then I just need a cup of water. Then I slice some apples, so we're just gonna, you know, toss those in there. And then literally the last ingredient, you just put in, like, cinnamon. Oh, that was a lot, but like, you know, we want it to taste cinnamony. So I just wait for this to boil, and then I'm supposed to, like, simmer it for a little bit. This is a very familiar angle. I think we know what's going down. I'm gonna make two batches of coffee because like, you know, we're making two drinks. 
Okay, here's one thing of coffee. I also need to do this fast because like my mom is like having people over and like, you know, I need to like clean up the kitchen. And here's a second thing of coffee. Why does that sound literally triggering? Okay, so first I'm gonna froth the milk. I'm using oat milk. I know like it says to use whole milk, but like absolutely not. I've had too much dairy today and like my stomach can't handle it. So I haven't used this in so long, so I'm excited. First I'm gonna pour the coffee into here. Okay. And then I'm supposed to put the pumpkin spice syrup. How much of this do we need though? That literally looks so good. Okay, I literally have nine minutes left of storage. I know this camera's crooked, but like we don't have time. We're on a time crunch. So I'm supposed to stir this together. And then I think I put in the frothed milk. I know I do. So now we put in ice. Oh wow. So now I'm just gonna... Do you want to do the honors? Be the first one to try it. Is it good? Is it mixed mm. together well? Oh yeah. The flavor is amazing. It just needs to be colder. Mm, that'd be good. We're just waiting for the ice to do its thing. But moral of the story, I am better than Starbucks. Okay, so I put the coffee into here. Oh wait, this looks so good. Let me show you real quick. Oh my gosh. That's the apple one. Putting in the little syrup stuff. Oh, it smells so good. Now I put in oat milk. And then this one I top with cinnamon. Oh, okay, the whipped cream is looking like the Leaning Tower of Pizza, but it's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna try the apple one. I think the syrup's like sticky and it's like creating chunks and like clogging the straw. Oh, wow. Why did I actually do it kind of Okay, I think my camera's about to turn off and like stop recording me, but pumpkin bread. That's so good. Okay, anyway, my camera's gonna come off in two seconds. But thanks for watching. Subscribe. Tell me your opinions on Starbucks down below. Like, what's your order? What do you think of it? How often do you go there? Um, okay, bye. <laughs>